It's a couple of nice plays by the Shields to get steals, but then she coughed it up to Bonner and fouled him. Really good hesitation there by Bonner. Oh, no. in a lot of pain right now. She took a direct hit to the face from Diamond DeShields. And DeShields was trying to make a play on the ball. Now what the officials will look at here is if there's a wind up by DeShields. As the officials continue to look the replays, Juana Bonner shaking up. So right here, the shield was going for the ball, but see how she brought her arm back? Sometimes a windup can be, she was going for the ball, absolutely. I mean, if I'm the officials, to me it's incidental contact. I mean, she was trying to get a block, but again, a flagrant foul call can be triggered when if that arm goes back on a windup. Juana Bonner is three inches taller than Diamond DeShields, but 30 pounds lighter. So right away, just getting hit with DeShields' body, it was hard enough. The call on the floor has been upgraded to a flagrant foul penalty one. I get it. I get it because of the windup. That's the trigger. It's not whether or not she's going for the ball. That's part of it. But when she brings that arm back, the officials can't call a flagrant. But I would have ruled that incidental contact. But maybe that's why I'm not an official. Yes, why you're over here. And the officials in the stands agree with you. But Dewana Bonner. Going to the free throw line, Connecticut will also get possession of the ball. And remember, she was in the act of shooting when the foul occurred. A lot of courage from Bonner staying in this game because it was obvious that she was in a lot of pain.